Hey there, Survivors. Cougar here, back with more Orcs Must Die 3 gameplay. We are starting on our second war scenario, the front lawn. Let's get going. We have unlocked the Bank of Archers and the War Outpost. Bank of Archers are long-range units committed to defending Order Rifts. Uh, war Outpost is a battle emplacement that allows all types of traps to be built on it. Potentially very useful, although I haven't actually found a good use for it yet. Not when you got banks of archers. Master Cygnus and Vorwick would fight one more battle together before the end. Why won't you understand, Cygnus? The orcs need a master to shape their single-minded stubbornness into obedience. Vorwick, old friend, any control would be temporary. See the orcs for what they are. An unstoppable force of nature. What I see, old friend, is that you refuse to share your power and help me protect the Order. If that is truly your goal, look to the defense of this rift. They are coming. They are coming, and we're going to stop them, or try anyway. So here's what's going to happen. They're coming through two entrances there. One on the left, one on the right. Uh, some orcs are going down one side, some orcs are going down the other side. The entrance to the castle is at the back here. And there are portals to move you around um, these different areas a little bit faster. There's one. This one leads to the front of the castle, or what, I guess the back of the castle. And then these lead to the f front outside of the castle. But basically, here's the doors that we're trying to keep them from breaching. Uh, hopefully, they don't even make it through these doors. We'll see what happens. What I'm going to do is I'm going to path them all to one side. Uh, but we're going to put the barricades back far enough that they, they don't immediately turn and start going the other way. We want them to come this way a little bit because, well, I'll show you why in a second. Actually, let's put these all the way back here. An excellent location. Sorry, that was a little messy. Perfection. Okay. Uh, and we want, uh, we want them to come all the way down before turning around because we're going to put down some big flip traps here that are going to send them off into the, into the watery wastes. Uh, but that's later, later on. Uh, we've spent a lot of money on, on barricades right now, so now we have to just do our banks of archers. Uh, and to do that... I'm going to have to get all the way back inside, so let's use the portals. I'll do that portal to get there, and then this portal to get to the front where we're going to set up our banks of archers. Right up here. Okay, bank of archers is 2,500 gold, but we have almost 15,000 to start. This could stop an army. Okay, that's all the money we have for those. But let's use the last little bit of money we have to set up one big flip trap, spring trap, here, back here, to send them into these watery wastes, there, and then just a, a, some basic door defenses here, just in case anything slips through uh, so that they're standing on spikes while they're trying to pound on the door. Very good. That should work. Okay, uh, I think that'll do it. Let's uh, hold on. I don't want to be here. I want to be up front with the orcs. Yes, up here to start. So look at all those archers we got over there. Guardian archers. Banks of them. Okay, great. Let's kick this off. This should be fun. And remember, this dude has a his lightning staff. I'm going to make good use of the chain lightning here to slow these guys down in their big groups. But here come here come our banks of archers letting loose, letting fly. Chain lightning. Another chain Oh, I missed that chain lightning. Shoot. So we'll count at this, in this first wave here. We'll just count on the banks of archers to kind of weaken them a little bit. And then we'll have to do the rest. Those are dynamite archers. Dynamite crossbow works. Yeah, they're firing arrows tipped with dynamite at me. But we, we got them. Oh, I'm happy to see that mana there. We, we might need that. That mana drop. Yeah, I think we're going to need it right now, actually. I need two. Yeah, that's it. That's all the lightning I have. I got to go get some 
I gotta go get that mana drop. Uh, I'm gonna let that guy run. He's only got a sliver of health. Oh, good. Thank you for chasing me. Now we can target the Cobalt Runners with our Chain Lightning. That really helps with the Cobalt Runners. So, in fact, I think there may be more coming. I'm going to hang on to my what mana I have left to hopefully deal with them. Actually, these little guys can all be taken out one-shotted with the Chain Lightning, too. So we'll do that. Now we got to freeze the trolls. Yeah, getting a little close here, and I'm running a little low on mana. There's another mana drop over there, though. Thank you, goodness. And we still have this trap to rely on. Go. Bye. Well, that was a challenge. As I mentioned uh, in one of the previous videos... Oh, shoot. As I mentioned in one of the previous videos, uh, trolls used to be very weak to lightning. I don't know if that's still the case or not. Uh, that lightning didn't seem to be doing that much damage to him as I was hitting him there. Alright, last couple of guys here, and we are done with wave one. And lots of mana drops. Oh, that's the... Well, well, well. Those dynamite archers oh, could not pose almost a done. problem. Yeah, yes. those Remember dynamite archers. Them far from any barricades. Uh, I'm going to do a bunch of chain lightning here and then go and pick up that drop. That was a little hairy. But lightning headshots, yeah, those those do seem to drop, drop these things pretty quickly. These heavy ones are tough, though. Okay. Win again. We win again. Wave one. We are done. Now let's use... I think we could probably... Do we want to risk trying to jump across there? Yeah, no. <laughs> no. Because if you fall into the water, you're going to die. And that's going to remove rift points, which we don't want. And I didn't want to do that. I want to come back here and see if we can set up more banks of archers up front. I don't know. I think there's a limit to how many you could put up there. Yeah, see, it's not, it's not, I thought you could put down two rows up here, but it's not letting me do that. So we're going to have to find someplace else to put these, no problem, we'll put them out there. How about right up here? And one there, and one there. And that's all we have money for, but we do have money for another flip trap. Let's see if we can put one back, another one back here. Mega flip. Yep, that'll work. And Ready let's go. Fight. Great. Now, enemies on the way. now we've got some company up here for kicking this off. Hello, money. Chain lightning the little guys. Reset. Yeah, well. Good. Look at all those ogres. Let's see if we can freeze these ogres and let the banks of archers work on them. Yep, it's working. The banks of archers. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Yeah, if you if you freeze these guys in place and let the banks of archers do their thing, that does seem to take them out pretty quickly. Of course, not trolls, because trolls are going to regenerate health, but that's where the ice amulet comes in. I missed every single one of those shots. And now we're completely out of mana and have no more chain lightning to take care of these kobolds. And they're too fast for those. There we go. I'm completely out of mana. Yeah, some of these little guys are probably going to make it to the door, but those, the, uh, the spikes there will at least hurt them. That won't be the last. Yeah, man. Headshot, I, I feel like lightning headshots are more powerful than crossbow headshots. Maybe it's just against these trolls, I don't know. 
and down it goes. Yeah, that wasn't too bad. Not sorry to see that one gone. No. They uh, so did not pass. <laughs> no, they didn't. We have two options now. We can put archers way over there on the other side like these guys are or since everything is going to be pathing this way anyway we could just put some right up there that might be more effective so let's try that i also want to get some flip traps down on the other side of the the walkway here as i described when we were setting up whoa oh no my pride is injured <laughs> guess who's back my pride is injured my pride is injured, but we'll deal with this not being a five skull run on account of me plummeting into the water there, okay? Otherwise, I think this would probably be a five skull run. <laughs> Meet them with force. It's just my own pride that's hurting now. This will surprise them. Yeah, those will help, definitely. And then we have just enough money for two spring traps on the other side, two giant springs. Uh, let's start. Let's start up at this end, since I'm not sure how many are actually going to make it all the way through there. But these will both be heading off into the watery wastes, and we're good to go. I'm ready to start. More enemies on the way. Go archers. Show me what you got. Oh, nice. The arrows have shadows. It's nice. I blew that. Worked. Light orcs. Completely taken out with the chain lightning. Banks of archers taking down the kobold runners pretty well. Not that well. Ch chain lightning. Oh, and apparently there are earth elementals in the mix now, because those were two earthlings that made it through. Made it through the bank of archers. We might, I might put down some tar out here. Give the banks of archers more time to work on these. Let me see. They seem to be doing just fine on their own. <laughs> Sans tar. Let these guys get past us. Uh, we didn't even need a chain lightning for him. Let's see, is there a better use for this chain? Over there. Ah, come on, Cobalt Runner. Ah, the, the spikes will take him out, probably. Plus, we got these environmental traps. We can shoot that. <laughs> if he had been there, that would have hurt. All right, now the other side is finally making it around this way. The flip traps on the other, the new flip traps on the other side probably took a bunch of them out before they even made it this far. Yeah, we can see, if you look at the mini-map, you can see them going flying off into the water on the other side of the map. And they're gonna go across those uh, traps twice. So twice as many chances to actually get them wet. And let's yeah, just a couple of little stragglers here. A couple of earthlings making it past these flip traps. An easy victory. Yeah, that was pretty easy. And we got more, lots more money. Let's put down some more banks of archers over here. We are I love this and device. maybe another flip trap or two over here. Make sure it's facing the right way. A must yep, is those will work. And that's about all the moolah we have. Um, we have enough to put down a tar. Let's put down a tar to slow these guys down. Seems like they're all coming right through there. Okay, let's yes, go. I'm ready. Good. We could, I, th enemies I think we, we can put more archers up here. I think there's a, we could put a second row up here. 
Now, the regular archers, the individual guardian archers, they will not shoot through each other. They, they hit each other if, they, if they're trying to shoot through each other. Uh, but these banks of archers, they fire up, so they're not hitting each other. Let's freeze those big ogres and let the banks of archers work on them. And we're out of mana. And we got a bunch of freaking kobolds coming. No, I can't. Mm, that only took out two of them. Ugh, come on, come on. I'm completely out of mana. Oh, and I missed. Oh, well. Hello, troll. Oh, Goodbye, creature. Oh, good. Mana. We'll just stand here and use up all our mana. Actually, we need it now. Come more kobolds. That worked. That worked. Sort of. And lots more ogres coming. Let's freeze them in place and let the banks of archers pound them. Oh, yeah. Nice going, banks of archers. More ogres on this side. A worthy foe. And GG, no re. GG, no re. So an ancient elf, an ancient elf, just told me GG, no re. <sighs> Which is why I have no problem playing with the voices completely turned off. Let's begin. More enemies on the way. This can stop Who writes that? Who writes GG, no re? Gorbash ingratiates us with his presence. <sighs> like a twenty-something-year-old. But he will try and destroy any barricades we have. Oh, so special we enemy coming now. But we, we got so much good stuff down now. That's the big guy. That's Gorbosh. Special enemy. But he's taking. He's already taking damage from everybody else. I'm not sure what his, what did what did the elf say his special ability was. I didn't really. I wasn't paying attention. Whatever. Doesn't matter now. He's gone. Bye. Have a nice dip. How's water? Oh yeah, chain lightning. That was my go-to uh, trinket back in the day. Magical ability was the, the the lightning ring. Used it all the time. And one thing that's missing from this iteration of the lightning weapon is the storm cloud. You used to be able to drop a storm cloud, and it would chill uh, enemies underneath it and slow them down. And then it would, you know, fire lightning bolts down on them too. So it was damaging and slowing the enemies, and it was really, really powerful. And almost done. There's a couple stragglers on the other side. The oh, there's a oh right. This is where we killed the the special enemy. So we get a skull drop from that. Which will make up for the skull that we're going to lose for me falling in the water like an idiot. That That's it. Four skulls. Four. This was a four skull run because I fell in the water like an idiot, but a victory nonetheless. Wait a minute. I ended up with five skulls? So, it, there, see the stats? button to the stats entry here that's how you can tell what the skulls are from so we we had all the rift points remaining 40 so we didn't lose any rift rift points from dying i think that may be because we died in one of the breaks maybe if you die in a break 
uh, you you don't lose a skull for that. Okay, uh, because obvi it's obvious that you like fell into something accidentally. Anyway, uh, look at the stats breakdown really quickly. So it tells you what the sk we got four skulls for not letting anything through. We got one skull for doing it under par time, and one skull picked up on the battlefield. A skull for a new high sc score. And we didn't get a skull for a new high. Uh, kill streak, new highest combo we got a skull for, perfect victory a, another skull, untouchable if you take no damage during the mission you get two extra skulls at the end of it, uh, new best time lifetime minion kills, apprentice anyway, okay, so there you go that was Front Lawn, our second war scenario, thanks for watching everybody, leave a like and subscribe in the next episode we will be going to the coastal hallways. Stay safe, survivors.